All right, so I'm out on a test drive. We're gonna look at this and see what happens. I feel the idle kind of erratic as I'm driving. I don't know if you guys can catch the RPM needle and you guys can see that. It just died on me, fuck. We lost communication. So that's what's happening. We're losing communication. Then it doesn't know what to do and it's just, se apaga el pinche pendejo. So let me see if I can get it started cause I just came to a complete stop. Shit. So we're losing communication. That's what's happening. Okay. There we go. We're back. Can we retry to communicate? Let's get it out of the way. Put it in drive. This is the thing about these intermittents. It's getting stuck driving it. I'm gonna just make a U-turn here so I don't go too far and then um I just turned off on me. Fucking puto. Just turned off. Alright, let me see if I can catch this. This is pretty interesting right here. Key on, you can see the service engine soon service engine soon light here on the right. So I'm gonna start it up. There it is. It had a long crank because it's not communicating. So every time it doesn't communicate, we lose everything, and that's when the idle starts going crazy and this car just dies. But right here you can see if you look at where it's where the service engine soon light is supposed to be once we start it didn't even let me do it <laughs> once we start losing communication you can see that light come on and off and that's pointing away see now it won't even stay it's pointing away from the throttle body i i have a feeling that this might be like a, a bad pcm it's not uh, controlling or not accepting input from the throttle actuator control module. So I can't even keep it running anymore. Okay. And let me see. <clears throat> it went from uh, erratic driving, erratic idling to a uh, no start, a crank no start. So we have a communication issue here giving us all these problems and okay so I'm looking at some communication lines right here and this being an intermittent issue uh, I couldn't catch a bad communication line and uh, this one right here looks okay right now it's reading from 2.5 to 3.5 on the top line and 1.5 to 2.5 on the bottom communication line so everything looks okay at this time so I'm going to go and wait for this problem to occur again before I continue. All right, so right now key is on. We are in the engine control module. So we're going to get the codes in the engine control module. And I think it's the same ones I showed you last time. So we got a P1705. It says transmission control module received wrong APP signals. Okay. And we got that U1000 code, which is a CAN communication circuit fault. Right now what I'm going to do is go into the transmission control module and see what we have there. It says that the transmission control module is not receiving the proper APP signals. So we'll go to codes only and see what's stored in the transmission control module. And right here we have all it says it's throttle position sensor. It says throttle position sensor. So look, here's a little something I found in this car and it's a used well it's an old throttle body so she did say that they replaced the throttle body on this car it had the same issue before and after replacing the throttle body so this did not fix anything it did not do anything but it just cost her more money she said they put a fuel pump they put a throttle body and the car still does the same thing all right so there we go that's where we're at right now and it says throttle position sensor on the TCM. So let's look at. Did I show you guys a troubleshooter already for the P1705? I think I did. P1705. I'm going to put that here again just so you guys can pause it and read it and get some information as to what this code, uh, why this code says, what the computer sees or doesn't see. So when the TCM detects too high or low voltage from the TPS or open or short in the TPS circuit. But the code in the ECM says that the TCM is not getting the proper APP signals, okay? So 
uh, that could throw some people off. But um, let's see here. So it's basically losing, it's seeing too high or too low voltage. All right, you guys can pause it and read that if you want to. It says here, OBD transcodes, faults are detected by the transmission control module, which sends information to the engine control module through the automatic transmission communication line. Okay, so, and it says here also, if we have these codes, look at those first, but we don't have a 120 or a 510. We have the U1000, which is a communication code, and we have the 1705, which is just says TPS right here in the TCM. So I'm going to go into data and we're going to look at the TPS in here or the APP signals. All right, there it is. Okay, so we got here. Let's do custom again. Deselect everything. We're going to look at TPS voltage. We're gonna look at TPS, wide open throttle, closed throttle. Um, I think that's all we have. Oh, here's a TPS percentage. And we're gonna put them on list. And then I wanna look at TPS voltage and TPS percentage. So right now key is on, I'm gonna hit the APP. I'm gonna give it a little Okay, so look at that. This right here is TPS percentage and TPS voltage, but all I'm doing here is that, and that is the APP. With the key on, engine off, the throttle position sensor, which is part of the throttle body, does not move. So this right here, this signal that we're looking at is actually the APP voltage, but it's labeled as TPS, okay? So that's gonna throw people off. TPS right here is actually the APP. This has nothing right here. This has nothing to do with the throttle body. So the TPS sensors are built into this. And this signal that we're looking at is actually coming from the APP sensor, which is down here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up. TPS percentage zero, TPS voltage 0.74. Here we go. Let's start it up. Starts right up and right away it loses communication. Jesus. Okay, we try. Crank it again. Okay, now it's not starting. And this this tape doesn't look original, but I was looking at data and then the, the sensor dropped down to zero, and that's when we lost communication and that's when the car turned off. So uh, everything's pointing at the APP or the TCM, that TPS signal dropping out, but that TPS signal, as we saw, is not the TPS. It's actually the APP, which is this chingadera right here. So I'm going to open this up and let's see what's inside. All right, so what I thought I saw was an issue with this harness. Is actually not an issue, or I don't know what it is, but these these two wires are twisted together. This white and green are twisted, this white and black are twisted, and then we have a red and an orange wire. So this white wire and this white wire, let me see. Pin three and pin six on this APP sensor are the APP sensor one and two signals. So if you look at this connector, uh, this is pin one. Red one is pin two, this white one is pin three, four, five, and the other white one, white with black, is pin six. So three and six are the signal wires. And what I saw in the scanner was one of the signals dropping down to zero, and that's when we lost communication. That's when the car turned off. So I'm gonna pierce these two wires right here. I'm gonna monitor the APP signals. Um, pierced on the two white wires. So let's look at these signals and see what's cracking here. All right, so let me put some numbers up there. 0 0.76 and 0 0.40. Can you guys see that? Okay, I'm gonna give it gas. Point four zero on the blue trace. Point four zero. what I wanna do is start the car and watch these signals with the car running and rev it up and see what happens. How's that? Oh, I just saw something. I. Did I see something? Let me go back and look at that. Stop. I thought I saw a drop down. Right here. 
What is this? What is this? See that? Cursors. Uh, show back. Cursor one, right here. What are we reading there on cursor one? 0.25 and negative, negative 0.11, like low voltage. Let's do that again, see if we can catch it. So we could have a bad APP sensor right here, guys. That might be proof right there. Let me get these cursors out. Cursors, hide, back. Oh, I need a tripod, my hand's getting tired. Okay, so let's focus right here. This is what the transmission control module is looking at. And if it sees low voltage or too high voltage, then that's what's um, throwing this car out of communication and it's turning it off. So with the signal dropping out the way it is, I want to check my five volt and my ground to make sure that I'm not losing any of it. Because if the signal is dropping out, that doesn't necessarily mean I have a bad sensor. It could be that I'm dropping out the five volt or I'm losing my ground. So this is what I'm trying to do. Check all three at the same time. My ground, my 5 volt, and my signal. And see what's happening. But this car's not starting. Fuck. Alright, there it is. Got my 5 volt reference. The two at the top are the 5 volt. The two on the bottom, the red and blue, are my sensor signals. So we're going to watch it now. Alright, there it is. It's starting. Now I'm going to keep an eye on the signals and the 5 volt okay you can see that did you see that right there a little drop on the 5 volt reference which is the yellow and green let me rev it a little bit okay you can see the two bottom ones that those are my signals all right we got this running now finally so I just want to see why my signals were dropping earlier. So I got my two top wires, the yellow and green are the 5 volt reference from the ECM to the APP and then the two bottom ones, the red and blue, are the APP signals back to the computer. Alright, so here I'm going to go again. You can see that right there. And you can see the 5 volts right there. We got 5.07 and 5.07 so good 5 volt references down to the APP so we're just gonna watch this for a little bit there was a dropout on the green trace and there you go I just lost my 5 volt references and I don't have any more 5 volt reference at first I thought it was something up here with the harness not anymore so let me cycle the key turn this off turn it back on there's my 5 volt references they came right back and now it's just start Okay, starts up. Let me minimize this window or maximize it. And let's keep an eye on the two top signals. And they just completely went dead. And they're back. See that? They just left and came back. Alright, I'm gonna stop this right here. I'm gonna go look for my 5 volt reference. I'm gonna find my computer and I'm gonna check. Um, and see why I'm losing my 5 volt reference. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and swap out the computer right now. And then we're going to connect the battery back again. We're going to see if it starts and it stays running. So let me take this computer off. There's a ground here. There's a 10 millimeter that has to come off. And there's another 10 up here. The computer comes off and then we can take it out of there. So let me show you the one from the junkyard is this one this is the one i picked up okay this is they even marked it they sealed it for you and i asked them why they did that and they said that a lot of people like to open these up and take parts from them and then they like to return them so what i was looking for is this number right here it says 5f and then it's a hitachi part so it says mec 35-562a1 and then the last four are 4825 so i was able to match the 5f the mec 35-562 a1 but the 4825 is different than what's up here on the car but hopefully it just plug and play and then we can get this car on its way all right so let me get a 10 so i can take these off all right so the battery is disconnected got this 10 here 
So it's just two little tents. That's all it takes. Can you see that? Right here. Just unclips. All the way up. And that's it. I don't know if I want to open this one up, but check it out. This is the one that just came out of the car. Let me show you the part number on that. Just so you guys can see. So it says 5F and then it says MEC 35-562A1. But then the last four are 4609. So I don't know if that's going to affect it in any way, but we're going to see right now. We're going to find out. So this one goes to the side. So it just goes in here. Bring the lever down. Locks everything into place. Give it a little pull. Looks good. And swing it up. There you go. Now that holds it in place. And then I can put my ground back. All right, before I put anything back, we're gonna go hook up the battery and then we're gonna see if we drop out or not. Okay, here we go. All right, so key on, you can see service engine soon. So we have communication with the computer and let's give it a go. Do it again. Nada. All right, so let's hook up a scanner and let's see what codes we have now. All right, so I got the scanner hooked up. Let's go here into engine and codes only. So last time we had a P1705 and it was a TPS or APP code. That's when we started. Now we have a P1611 and ATS malfunction. So this is an anti-theft system code. So, let's see, what about the transmission? We'll come back to this P1611. Transmission had a TPS code and that's all it said, it said TPS. And it says initial start. We don't have a TPS code, so we're looking good as far as that goes, but. All right, back in the ECM. Uh, so here, let me see. Let's double check the codes again. Maybe we set a communication code now. Nope, still P1611. Okay, so let's go into the data and see if we can communicate with the new ECM or the new used one from the junkyard. See if maybe it has to be reprogrammed or if we can talk to it. Let's see what's what's the deal with it. All right, engine data one. We're looking in here and we got... Ah, we got PIDs. So we're talking to it. We're talking to it. Let's see. Let me crank it and see what happens. What, what the hell? I don't want to see that. Let's look at RPM, see if we're getting an RPM signal, just for the heck of it. Yeah, all right, so we're talking to this computer. This computer is good. Um, as far as reprogramming, I don't think so, but we do need to get somebody to take care of this anti-theft system and program, I guess, program the key to it. All right, guys, following day, got the key programmed into the new ECU. So basically, when I put the new computer or the new used one from the junkyard, I pull, you pull. Um, this new key wasn't recognized by the computer, so it was setting a code for uh, the NATS, which is, I believe, is Nissan Anti-Theft System. And this key was not recognized by the new used computer. So we pretty much had to tell this key, hey, now you got a new computer up in there. Now you got to get along and whenever that guy tells you to start, you're going to start. So there's the old computer. That is a bad computer that came out of the car. The new one is down in there. All right, so I got it programmed. Got rid of that P1611 and this car starts like a charm now. So let's check it out. Boom. Okay, so bad PCM on this 2005 nissan altima 2.5 with a fight mode actually it had a tps code it said p1705 app signal not received by the transmission control module so from here it's just a matter of putting everything back together 
I gotta return the ODCU. There is a core charge on that. I don't know what this lady wants to do with the throttle body, but we can probably throw it away. And all I did was use a voltmeter up here, checking my 12 volts and my grounds at the ECU. And everything checked out. So called it a bad ECU and got it done. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. 2005 Nissan Altima with a P1705 and a TPS code in the transmission control module. No communication because the fight volt reference circuit was dropping because of a bad engine control unit. So there it is. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.